Welcome to MISP Threat Sharing and SecureX Threat Response Integration demo video. I'm going to show you how to configure the integration and some of the results. MISP is an open source threat intelligence platform for sharing, storing, and correlating indicators of compromise of targeted attacks. Threat intelligence, financial fraud information, vulnerability information, or even counterterrorism information. In addition, MISP platform uses the IOCs and information to detect and prevent attacks, frauds, or threat against ICT infrastructures, organizations, or people. In SecureX, go to Integration Modules, Available Integration Modules, and find the MISP module type. With SecureX MISP integration, you'll get context information like who is the producer of the threat intelligence or to which malware or vulnerability does the cyber observable belong. When configuring the integration on SecureX, you must obtain an authorization key from your MISP account and then add the MISP integration module in SecureX. Go to your MISP instance, navigate to Global Actions and click My Profile. Copy the authorization key. On the SecureX page, let's connect the integration module. Click Add New Module and complete the form. In Module Name, leave a default name or enter a name that is meaningful to you. Paste the authorization key that you copied in the MISP profile. Enter the MISP host URL. In the Entities limit, specify the maximum number of sightings, indicators and judgments in a single response per requested observable. It's optional, so you can leave it blank. The default is 100 entities. Click Save to complete the module configuration. The health check message indicates that the module has been successfully created. Now on the SecureX page, let's launch the threat response and see how the integration works. MISP supports IPv4 addresses, domains, MD5, SHA-1, SHA-256 and URLs and returns verdicts, judgments, sightings, and indicators. Enter the observable and click Investigate. If you click on the Modules tab, you can see that the MISP returned four sightings and four judgments for the investigated domain. Let's move to the Details section. Here you can see the judgments. It represents the intent or a nature of the observable. You can filter the search data for only MISP results if needed. The verdicts indicate the most recent and the most relevant disposition for a given observable, in other words, it's a top judgment. Here the module returned one malicious verdict. In sightings, we can see a record when the indicator has been seen by MISP. The indicators describe a pattern of behavior or a set of conditions which indicate malicious behavior. You can optionally pivot to MISP for more details on the reported sighting. In just a few minutes, we were able to bring an active MISP deployment into SecureX, and now reputations and sightings from that installation will be included, as you saw in all the future investigations we perform in SecureX. That's it for this demo. Thank you for watching.